hello 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 welcome back to the big fat psychic channel i'm so pleased to be reading again for you today okie dokie let's uh, crack on so we've got a uh, let's have a look at uh, camilla uh, and, and see what's going on okie dokie uh, card please for uh, Camilla, October. Card please for uh, Camilla, October. Card please for Camilla, October. Look at that. Eh? She must be uh, thinking, wow. You know what? If I was Camilla... Uh, and Harry was getting into trouble and being exposed in all these uh, ways. After all the shit and the pain that he's put on uh, and inflicted on, uh, the slagging her off uh, as well. Do you know what? I think I would be secretly uh, gleeful. So a uh, situation will uh, kick off probably with Harry uh, and uh, she's just like, well, there's no point uh, worrying about it. It's just we're wasting, uh, you know, wasting our breath. So, you know, it could be that a shitstorm is uh, coming uh, their, their way. But luckily, she's kind of more unbiased, okay? She's uh, more in a, a position to see things as they uh, really are. I mean, there's no doubt, you know, they are close uh, and, you know, they truly are for each other, the King and Camilla. And I do believe, okay, uh, even on my experience, that you, you would be uh, discussing uh, things non-stop about Harry, you know, supporting your husband and then agreeing with him when he's uh, angry and then trying to, you know, pacify him or console him uh, and, and stuff. Yeah, if we thought uh, that this was, this is the calm. This is the uh, calm uh, before the storm. I just see somebody, uh, you know, really, really uh, upset here. So I wonder if they uh, haven't ever known this uh, about Harry. Uh, and then when it comes out, it's like, oh my God, you know, Kind of what he went through. I mean, there's always uh, whispers of Harry being with uh, men and women, but I don't. I think a heart will uh, go out to uh, someone here. Sorry, uh, bad mouthing uh, Harry, but having to see him as a victim. Because don't forget, they'll go, oh, well, if that was 1991, uh, there's no wonder, uh, you know, he, he kind of uh, went off this way or got angry uh, as well. You know, things like that eat you uh, up inside. Probably something else that uh, Megan has capitalised on, uh, you know, uh, linking hair pain uh, with, uh, is it Weinstein or somebody? I did a reading, yes, she did the dirty. Kind of, uh, you know, could this be the catalyst uh, to bring Harry home uh, kind of uh, thing? He needs to get on with it, his life. Imagine you'll find out uh, something about your children like this, and yet they've been very difficult. And uh, you know, uh, cause chaos uh, within uh, their life, your life, uh, the the family. Keep calm. Carry on. It's 
it's going to be all over. Is this pain because of Harry? Maybe that's uh, not, maybe that uh, is not, but we did get wasting uh, time there. Uh, they could, that could be part of it, but I think uh, oh, the main source uh, uh, is pain for uh, Camilla, and that involves her, her husband, and somebody else. You know, So it's like uh, making plans uh, for the future. You can't do nothing about it, you know. Uh, I know it's upsetting. Uh, but you have to, uh, you know, make a plan and stick to it. So that could be the order uh, of his coronation, maybe. Not his coronation, sorry. Preparing for life after him. Because now you, you see uh, Camilla, she's all smiles uh, and everything. But uh, again, the, you know, the wearing a smile. What else do we need to know uh, for Camilla uh, in October? Somebody reporting on the uh, fact. Talking without substance. And also about uh, Camilla being right. Her being right uh, uh, about something. Her first instinct, uh, you know, uh, was that. I think people are going to try and put a lot of uh, options uh, for her uh, as well. Make no bounds, uh, yeah, what is it, make no, there's no doubt uh, in, in my mind that Camilla is a very uh, strong uh, influence on uh, King Charles. Outcome for Camilla then in October. I just kind of feel like, you know, we have more than one thing unfolding before us. Maybe like three uh, sources of pain uh, for the king. I don't know, uh, you may hear that maybe Camilla is being uh, difficult uh, as well. Maybe some might say selfish, trying to keep her into herself rather than uh, king and country. I don't know, I feel like you know things are, are definitely uh, going off uh, behind uh, the scenes and that might not make her uh, so happy at all. William and Harry see uh, this woman as the Queen of Cups reversed. So, but Camilla sees her as uh, old enough to know better. Old enough uh, to know better. She's going to have to, you know, she could look uh, like she's trying to prevent being criticised, okay? Uh, trying to prevent that. 
the reason we are given is not that. I mean, could Harry, you know, try and blame uh, his experiences uh, on getting drunk and taking drugs uh, on not just his mother, uh, but the fact that uh, Camilla was with his uh, dad as well. I just feel like, you know, uh, somebody wants to uh, bring out uh, the knives and uh, stab Camilla in the back. They're trying to make out she doesn't uh, care. Camilla, the king, and Harry, thorn in his side. Okay, guys, uh, that's it from me on that one. Uh, just a quick overview uh, for the month of October. Uh, let's get on to the next one. Okay, bye now. Bye-bye.